Hi, I'm Alyssa Nobriga, and this is your place to connect with your soul and create real sustainable success, both in love and business. So today I want to bring to you a conversation I don't typically have. Um, I was inspired by a client who was asking me about overcoming emotional eating, and I was sharing with her three tips and tools that I've discovered in my own life that have helped me transform this, so I want to share those with you today. So the first thing, I just want to lay the context for some of my work. And I have a soul-centered approach to the work that I do. And so rather than just trying to change it on the behavioral level, I want to support you in really connecting with what the thoughts are, the emotions are that have created the behavior in the first place so that you can clear through those and then your change will be easier to maintain. So with emotional eating, a lot of people have even tried diets, right? And we yo-yo diet if we don't work it mentally and emotionally. So today I'll be talking about the emotions. I do other things around working with the mind, but today we'll just talk about the emotions. So three tips to overcome emotional eating. The first one is about redirecting the energy. So notice next time if you are starting to emotionally eat, notice the vibration in your body gets a little bit rampant or a bit higher. And we tend to want to stuff that down and not feel what we're feeling. So I want to give you a tool to help you express your feelings in a more effective uh, tool. And that's through something I've learned called freeform writing. And essentially what you do is you just take one piece of paper and you take a pen and you just start writing all the thoughts that are in your head and all the emotions that are coming up. You don't have to have the um, sentences make sense. You don't have to finish them. You can rewrite over the one piece of paper. Just keep letting it go. Stream of consciousness. Anything that comes up, even if it's, I don't know what else to say, the next thing will come in. So you give yourself about 10 minutes to do this. And you really want to just let yourself feel whatever's, whatever's there. So let it come up and out right through freeform writing. The second tip is to be compassionate with yourself. So oftentimes we're looking for that cookie or whatever your food of choice is to really heal or um, tend to that part of us that may have been triggered. It may have been triggered through being tired or overworked or being sad, right? And so we want to just breathe into and directly bring compassion to that part of ourselves that's triggered, that's tender. And to really forgive any judgments you may have held about yourself in the process and any judgments you may have had, um, whatever that sort of got evoked through the freeform writing. So again, let the energy be directed in a new way, and you may have a different approach to this, and I encourage you to try that on as well. Some people like to run to really let the energy come out, but not everyone has the time to do that within the context of um, reshifting this pattern. And I do, if you are inspired by this, I invite you to try what I'm sharing, and we're only at step two, but I invite you to try it out for just one month and see what your experience is. So redirect the energy, be compassionate with yourself, really letting go of any judgments you've had of yourself or the process. And then the third thing is, after you've done that, to come back to, it just can be even 10 minutes minimum, just come back to if you want to have that cookie or whatever that food was, and not to make yourself right or wrong either way. So not to make yourself right if you don't have it, if you choose no, and not to make yourself um, wrong if you do choose to have it. If you, ha if you choose to have it, let yourself enjoy it. Bring presence into eating whatever it is. And as we let go of the right-wrong paradigm, we start shifting our consciousness so that has kind of looped us in the cycle. And so this takes a little bit of time again to reprogram, but I do encourage you to as you're going through this, keep focusing on what it is you do want. So with anything that we're trying to change or any addictions, as you're looking at and focusing on what it is you do want, having a healthy relationship with your emotions, having a healthy relationship with food or feeling really empowered and confident in your life, that tends to work a little bit better in my experience. And I would love to hear from you below if you have a particular way that you've discovered that's been helpful around redirecting energy. So please do share below. We inspire and inform each other. And if you would like other free offerings and tips and tools around business and love, please feel free to check out my website at alissanobrega.com. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.